Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Wednesday night webinar. My name is Kim Danke. I am your Fast Track instructor. And thank you so much for spending your time with me this week to learn the absolute most important thing that you can learn in life, how to eat for your health. So that's what we're going to be going over tonight. Not just that, but how to use the resources on our website. So if you are on Facebook, please type in um, how much weight you've lost. Say hello if you are a member or if you're not a member. Share this out for us. That share button is in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, and it is the absolute best thing that you can do for us is to click the share button. If you're on Facebook, please take just a minute and say hello. We like to know that you are there. So if you're in the Zoom room, hey, let's go ahead and take care of a little bit of housekeeping. Find where your chat button is, either on your phone or on your computer, click it, and then click where it says all panelists, and then you'll see the option for all panelists and attendees and go ahead and click that. That just sets you up for when you type something in, everybody can read it and it doesn't look like I am answering random questions out of the air. So please go ahead and, and get that all set up. And if you are in the Zoom room, please go ahead and tell us where you're from. If you're here because you're new or if this is a restart for you, and if you're on EFB day, today would be EFB day, because if you had a perfect day on Monday and a perfect day on Tuesday, today you are in EFB, baby, efficient fat burning. If you're finding us on Facebook and you don't know what this is, you can go to www.shaboliftdeals.com and get your membership. It's $99 for an annual membership to all levels. Um, the Fast Track, the Journey, and the Tiger's Eye level, we would absolutely love for you to join us. It'll be the best money that you've spent on yourself. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, down, I'm down 40 pounds. Jimmy, Way to go, Jimmy. That's awesome. So proud of you. That is wonderful. Good going, Jimmy. In uh, the ball ground. Hey, Kay. Glad that you're here, Kay. It's going to be restarting. Hey, CC. Glad that you're back. This is her second perfect day. Tomorrow, CC will be in EFB. And Trina is in EFB. This is awesome. This is awesome. I'm so glad. All right. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to head on over to the Shibboleth website and go to Fast Track. <clears throat> if you're brand new, your Fast Track should open up to you automatically. If you are not brand new, you have to do what I just did. Click on Dashboard, and then it shows up to the Instructor page, and then you can click on Fast Track, okay? Um, the great thing about finishing all of the fast track, like clicking all of these little boxes, is that it opens up these other uh, dashboards to you, all right? Now, remember, the, the little test that you take to earn your badge opens up all of the food library, the recipe library, and the restaurant guide to you so that you can complete lap three through seven, all right? But once you've completed all of the laps, it opens up your instructor page and your other uh, dashboard to you, which is fun. It's fun to have these other things. All right, Jean, EFB day, woo woo. Restart, six pounds, way to go. That's awesome. So excited for you. Okay, if you want a little tutorial in addition to what we're doing tonight, you can click right there and there will be a little tutorial. That's what that video is. And we're going to do just like we have done every other night. We're going to read the black box and then we're going to click on the link and we're going to do these things. Search the recipe library for your favorites, a database built by our Shibboleth family. As you are exploring, please heart each recipe you think you might like to try. Hearting the recipe adds it to your personal favorites, which can be found in your My Journal tab or in the My Favorites tab in the Recipe Library. This is available for Silver Level members and up. 
Okay, we're going to click right there. And you can see these Jimmy, great job, just got his phase two badge today. That is awesome. That means he's been watching some journal videos and interacting with the website and journaling. Good job, Jimmy. Okay, these pictures, these change every time you come back to this page. So I, the reason I tell you that is because if you think something there looks good, go ahead and hover over what it is and either screenshot it or print the screen or um, write it down because when you come back, it won't be there again. These pictures change. So if you think, ooh, crock pot chicken and rice looks good, just jot it down or screenshot it or something. If you think, well, that one doesn't have a name. If you think the chocolate crazy cake looks good, I think that looks good. And then Mexican beef casserole. So you just want to jot those down because they don't. There's pan fried pork chops, swamp soup, and a hemp super protein shake. But these change every single time. So if you think one of those looks good, just go ahead and jot it down so that you can look it up later. Hey, Angie, I'm glad you're here. Glad you're here. So I want to just go over how the recipe library is laid out. I want you to really see this as a dynamic cookbook. The, I use the word dynamic because if you have a cookbook, it, it's static. It can never change, okay? But a dynamic something, it can change, which this changes and grows all the time. And if there's uh, mistakes or improvements that can be made to recipes, all we got to do is turn them in and, and we'll get those all fixed up. If you would like to submit recipes, you can do that too. But one thing I would like to suggest is that when you when you have a recipe that you think everybody might enjoy, check the recipe library first and to see, see if something is close that's already in there. And if it's not, submit it. If it's something really, really close, that might be what they have edited that recipe to be, okay? But you can submit a recipe. And how do you submit a recipe? Do you see right there that green tab on the top right-hand side? It says, add new recipe. You just click right there and you would write that in, that recipe. You'd write it in just like you would think that it would be approved. And then Kim Shaboloth will have a look at that and she will edit anything that needs to be approved or changed, okay? So there's two ways to look at this. Over here on the right-hand side, you know how a cookbook is broken into sections? Here you go. Here are your sections. We're just calling it types. Appetizer, breakfast, condiments, desserts, and so forth. So you could just click on those. We even have one called Walmart. 99% of the ingredients come from Walmart. That way you're not having to go to Publix, Walmart, uh, Kroger, Ingalls to get everything. So you can just go to that and rest assured that 99% of the products will be at Walmart. Now, as we scroll down right here, we've just got the sections listed out with all of the recipes in each section. Now, if you're, if you're in here just playing around and you're just wanting to scan some things, then this is a really good way to look at this. This is a kind of a fun way to have a lot less clicking to do to be able to look at all of that. But if you're in a hurry and you're, you say, I, only, I need to know a side dish, let me just go straight to side dish. There you go. There's your side dishes and you can scroll through and you can read those uh, just like that. All right. So <clears throat> in this part right here on the right hand side, these are recently added recipes. So there's an apple toaster strudel and yogurt, Italian roast with baked broccoli casserole. Here's something avocado vanilla smoothie. It does make a note maintenance only. Cheeseburger casserole with creamy buttermilk coleslaw. Jonathan's skillet fried cauliflower rice. Stuffed bagel bites and so forth. So these are the new things. Um, Reuben stuffed tenderloin. Hmm, that look, sounds good. Let's see. Reuben stuffed tenderloin. So you would take a whole pork tenderloin, two ounces of sliced boar's head top round pastrami, three tablespoons of the Thousand Island dressing recipe. So you would need to then look up the Thousand Island dressing recipe to make that. Two ounces of Sargento ultra thin Swiss cheese, a quarter cup of sauerkraut well drained, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon salt, 
quarter teaspoon caraway seeds, Pam spray, and kitchen string. Okay, anything to do with kitchen string, this girl's probably not doing it. But anyway, um, you can read through and you can see what it says. And then down below, there's the directions. And then there's serving notes. What's really great about serving notes is that it tells you how to journal it. Category one plus four plus two plus condiment. And it says, let ten, let stay in 10 minutes after removing from the oven and you may serve alone or with a category two vegetable. Hey, Michelle, glad you're here. And then, you know, if, if you find something, if you like this recipe, you can add a comment and then click post. So there's all kinds of great things about this that you can do. Um, let's go back into, let's just go to, let's go to breakfast. All right, so we're in the breakfast section of our recipe library. Do you see the weight loss meter right here? We briefly talked about the weight loss meter last night in the food library. Basically, the weight loss meter is a secondary way for us to, I'm just going to say judge food, because we kind of put food into its own category based on its nutritional value and how it responds in your body. So that's the first way to look at it. What category does it fall into? The second way for us to look at food and see whether it's really great for weight loss or if it's just okay for weight loss or should it be safe for maintenance, that's the weight loss meter. The weight loss meter, the lower, the better. But don't get over obsessed with low, okay? It's, you don't have to be over obsessed with low. It's just a, a secondary way to look at it. So we've got all these breakfast items here. If I'm looking to see what's the best of the best for weight loss, you know what? The best of the best would actually be negative two, negative three, but I'm going to set this to negative one, negative three, and let's see what's left. Okay, so all of these things are, wow, that's a lot. All of that is there in the negative three to negative one range. So it's kind of like playing golf, you know, the lower, the better for the day. So let's say you have a breakfast that's a negative three. And then you've got a lunch, whatever you put together for lunch was a negative two. And whatever you put together for dinner was a negative one. You know, that's just another way to look at it. But I, like I said, I wouldn't be overly obsessed with it. If you're putting all the pieces and parts to the website, I mean, to the lifestyle together, the five things each day, you're going to get the results that you want. Okay. And then uh, it is good to at least be aware. And if you want really great results, you can look at that. I know we all want great results, but we also like to eat too. So you got to make those little in and out decisions. You're not going to be doing zero and positive numbers at every single meal. But if you have one 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 night a week or something like that while you're in uh, weight loss mode, it won't take you out of efficient fat burning. Now, if it says for maintenance only, you save that for maintenance, okay? Because that food library is going to tell you exactly what to do. And I follow the food library for great results. So let's come over here and read. Um, what was I going to? Oh, my goodness. I can't think of it. Uh, what's the stuff called? French toast. Let's look at French toast right here. So we got French toast. And look at this. It's got cooking for the family. That is a wonderful filter. I'm going to go back. Hold on. I got to show y'all something. <clears throat> I'll go back to that French toast. Well, I was looking for, let's see, let's cook, let's click on the breakfast. When you are in that heading of breakfast, I don't know where that little thing I was looking for went. Huh. Wait a second, y'all bear with me, bear with me. Because there was, Let's see, main dish. Let me click on main dish. Anyway, uh, some of these have a little filter up here that you can click and it will take you like crock pot meals and things like that. I don't know what happened to that. I saw it last week when I was doing this class. Oh, well, I won't worry about it. But we were looking at breakfast and we had clicked on French toast. Does anybody like French toast? Who likes French toast? 
Yeah, Cece, I do too. And it's really, really good. Let me see if this is the one I like. Three quarters cup of egg whites, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one pinch of salt, and two slices of category two bread and the zero calorie cooking spray. This one is really good. Jean likes French toast too. Yeah, I love it. Okay. And it's just going to, you're going to beat together the egg, the cinnamon, the vanilla, and the salt. Heat a lightly sprayed skillet or griddle over medium heat. Get to soak your bread slices in the egg mixture for 20 seconds on each side or until thoroughly coated and most of the egg whites are soaked into the bread. Cook bread until both sides are lightly browned and crisp. Serve hot. This recipe makes, serves one. So if you're cooking for the family, you've got to cook up, how, you got to multiply this times how many ever people you're cooking for. This is a category one plus two plus C. The one is egg whites and it says it right here. See, I love this website because it's got layer after layer after layer of education. We don't just list three quarter cups egg whites. We actually link it to egg whites, call it a category one, tell you what categories this falls into, okay? So that's really important. And then your two is coming from this category two. This says, okay, I'll try that, Michelle. <laughs> Um, this says Lewis Healthy Life 35 calorie breads, and you don't have to use that particular one. As long as it is a category two approved bread, it works fine. And then it's saying you may serve with a slice of category one Canadian bacon, like Smithfield, or you can have some fried egg whites or just some egg whites with it. You can also add sugar-free syrup or a small amount of berries as a condiment. Now remember. We don't eat fruit, but this would actually be a category one and two, so you could have some pop fruit with it, but this is what they're saying. You can add like a small bit of berries if you want to. Call them the condiment, just don't overdo it. Keep in mind that adding a lot of calories in the condiments may affect the weight loss meter. And so you might be wondering, why can't I just do a regular amount? I just follow the food library, but I don't see why you couldn't actually. Um, this is one of my favorites is what Karate Mom says. And so you can read all of this. So if you use, look, this is a great question. I can't use artificial sweeteners and, I, and use a little honey instead. Is this okay? Honey is not approved for use with Shibboleth. I don't use any syrup myself when I have French toast because I don't like the taste of artificial sweeteners. If you like egg whites, if you use egg whites to make your French toast, you may use up a quarter cup of fruit. Okay, see right there, there she's telling you that you can do that. Quarter cup of fruit is a category five topping. Or what I like to do is have French toast with a category one Canadian bacon. And she makes a little sandwich out of it. And that's Kim Obermeyer. Kim Obermeyer is actually our food guru. Um, so you can have a look at that. So it's kind of helpful to read down through there and see if there's anything else that you could do that. So somebody right there, Polly is saying that she cooks this on her George Foreman grill. So you can get all kinds of ideas from reading this information below. So that one is a great recipe and you'll see I've hearted it. I actually am going to go ahead and give it five stars. We like it when you rate things because 481 people have said they like that one right there. Okay. There we go. So Michelle told me to hit the filters right above this search bar, okay? So I hit the filters and there's, there's all the stuff, there's all the recipes, but if we wanna cook for the family, anything that's called cooking for the family, you can click on that filter and it's gonna regenerate your list. There's honey pecan chicken, a third of a turkey burger and so forth. So when you see this list, you can see what it is on the weight loss meter. You can see how many people have taken the time to go back into the recipe library and mark it that they liked it. When 728 people have taken the time to go back into the food library and mark it, I think that says something right there. So it's got 728 people marked they like it. It's got an average rating of 4.6. So you can just kind of keep coming on down. There's the uh, Alfredo broccoli and chicken 483 people have marked they like it they've given it a five-star review Angela's taco pie 
825 people have said they liked it and so forth. So this is just another way for you to look at foods. But I do want to tell you, I'm showing you all of this so that you have variety, but please don't feel like you need to jump into the recipes right away And you, unless you are just that person who loves recipes. Because honestly, just simply cooking up some chicken with some yummy green beans or yummy cauliflower or yummy broccoli or some yummy category two side that you like or cooking yourself a 96% lean hamburger patty with a category two, that's really super simple. And that's one of the easiest ways to get started. I actually tried a recipe my very first week, but I, I don't want you to feel obligated to, okay? I'm just showing you things. Here's uh, crock pot recipes, few ingredients, no bake and cooking for one or two people. I'm gonna click on the fat burning chicken enchiladas because if you like enchiladas, these are good. These are really good. So fat burning chicken enchiladas. I did make this my very first week, but I already made chicken enchiladas regularly anyway. This is why I was on the search for which recipe would work for me at, at using this. So I've hearted it. I've already given it five stars. And I'm going to use the Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Tortilla. Brenda, this would be a good one then if you love enchiladas. And then you've got your chicken breast. I don't eat green chilies, so I just left them out. Um, a quarter cup of fat-free chicken broth. I didn't even use that. And three cups of fat-free shredded cheese. I used that. And 10 ounce can of red enchilada sauce. And I just rolled these babies up and made some enchiladas okay and so you can use all of that information and look there it is i said made this tonight it was delicious so this is our recipe library but when i show you things it's really for you to go back and play okay all right, so once you feel like hey i got this down we've got a recipe library i know how to use it then you can check that box right there all right, in order to add foods to a grocery list, the grocery list must be created first. If you shop at multiple stores, this is a good time to create lists for each store. So I'm gonna click here. The reason I tell you this and the reason that this is made like this is so that you make the grocery list first. If you are in the food library or the recipe library and you're trying to add things to a grocery list, but you've never created a grocery list for those items to be added to, then you won't have a list. There would, there, there's nothing to be added to, okay? So we have to create the grocery list. So you can see all of these grocery lists I've created before uh, as I show people, but you simply come over here to the right-hand side, click that green add grocery list button. You can set a date. Just gonna choose today's date. And I'm going to say Ingles today. And I'm gonna click create. So it just created me a new grocery list right here. All right, so that was simply what that task was. That task was simply to create a grocery list. So check, that's done. Okay, this next part, we're gonna add a, we're gonna add a food item from the food library to a grocery list. Okay, so for practice, pick any food item in the food library and add it to one of your grocery lists. Adding a food item to a grocery list can be done from two places in the food list, it's the last button to the right of the food item listing. Or once you've opened up that item, it's the green button that looks like a list. We're gonna have a look at both of those. All right, so I'm here in the food library and I think since I'm, I'm, I'm brand new, I'm brand new, I and I like to eat beef. So I'm gonna look for some 96% lean ground beef. So I'm just going to put beef in. Okay, I'm going to put in beef. Because with you, what I would really do is I would take that grocery, I mean, that favorites list that you created on the worksheet from last night, and I would just start going through the food library and adding them to my grocery list. Okay, so now I have my beef list up. You know, I think I might want to get the best beef. So I'm going to do negative one, negative three, and I'm going to hit set because I don't want anything that's um, not that great for weight loss. 
this week. Anything that we have in the food library is going to work. It's just that some are better than others. There's always a good, better, and best in everything that you do. So it's generating my list. Okay, so 96% lean ground beef. I like it. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm just going to check it out. I like to look at everything. When you make a practice of looking at everything and inspecting everything, it goes in here more. Do you know that we've been conditioned for years and years and years? We've been conditioned to think a certain way. We have to recondition ourselves now. So how do you, re you, how do you condition yourself? You engage in all the ways possible. You come here, you click. Okay, this is lean protein. It's gluten-free. Uh, two to eight ounces is what you have a recommended portion. Ladies, it's best to stick at six. Guys can go up to eight. Then they come down here and we can read the description. And it says, any ground meat that has less than 20% calories from fat works as a category one. Okay, so most of the time that's gonna be marked as a 96%. Um, and then it actually gives you the little uh, formula right there. The percent of leanness listed on the front is by weight instead of calories. If fat calories are not listed for you, you simply multiply, multiply the fat grams times nine to get the calories from fat. And then you just want to make sure that it's no more than 20%, and that could be category one. But look at all these recipes here that also include ground beef. So I like the way that once you click on an item, it then lists recipes that have it in there. And I come down here, there's three pages of recipes that include that. We even have some, some this where to buy portion, this is added by members. This is not added by Shibboleth. So people have told us they can get this meat at all those different places. But let's say, yep, I want to add this to my grocery list. I simply click this right here. And then I choose my Ingles list that I'm working on right now. And I've got that added to my list. Okay, so let's say that I'm also going to make some chicken. Now y'all can see I'm kind of focused on getting some lean proteins at the house. Chicken, what kind of chicken? Chicken, if I'm looking for a category one, what would I specifically look for? That's right, that's right. Yep, I would definitely look in for chicken breast. Uh, CC, skinless would be right for a category one. That's right. Boneless, it can have a bone, you just don't wanna eat dark meat. Um, and I don't know much about chicken, so I guess. Yeah, we're looking for the white meat, poly, the breast. That's right. That's right. Dark meat and, and chicken with skin is a category four protein plus fat. All right. So here we are. I pulled up some chicken there. It's real simple. But see, if I know that I want chicken and I've already inspected this and looked over the category, looked at the approved amount, looked at the description, looked at kind of just scanned the recipes that go with it. If I've already, if I'm comfortable that I want to get this chicken, I don't even have to click on it. I can add it to my grocery list from right there. Okay. And let's scroll on down. And I really like these Applegate Naturals chicken and maple sausage patties. So I'm going to go ahead and add those to my grocery list while I'm there too. Okay, so now, now I've got some category ones in there. Let me go ahead and do some green beans. Okay, we'll get some green beans. So we've got just regular green beans. Oh, there's Allen's Cut Italian Green Beans. I like those. I'm going to click there. Add that to Ingles. There's bird's eye frozen classic mixed vegetables with green beans, okay? Now notice, that's a zero on the weight loss meter. I probably wouldn't do that one. Del Monte green beans, 
Okay, I could do that one, no problem. Look, well, let me go back to this Allen's cut green beans. They're a negative three. This Del Monte is a negative two. The Glory seasoned green beans, a negative two. Green beans in general, negative two. Green beans canned, any brand, negative two. So green giant, green beans, and almonds, it's a zero on the weight loss meter. Probably because the almonds are added, or maybe it's got a sauce or something in it. Um, and then Margaret Holmes seasoned Italian green beans. Oh, they don't have a weight loss meter next to that one. And then Wildwood cut green beans. There's no weight loss meter next to that. I don't know why, but we'll find out about that later. Now, what I would do in this case is I would not do the zero. I want the best of the best. So I'd either get just green beans, but it says any canned green beans, a negative two. So you can go ahead and have a look at that. But look at that Allen's cut. It's negative three. Maybe I want to do that. I wonder why it's a negative three compared to the others as a negative two. Don't know. But let's just put green beans like that. Now, if you like bread, you might want to get a bread that works to have at home. So let's look for a category two bread. Category two breads are going to be nice because they're going to work with your, if you want to have a toast in the morning, you could put some approved peanut butter, one tablespoon on two slices, one tablespoon on one slice, one tablespoon on the other slice. You could have egg whites. I did this morning, I had the Shibboleth high protein brown bread. I had that Shibboleth high protein brown bread. May, and then I had two eggs and one slice of board and fat-free cheese. So I started scrambling my eggs. I salted and peppered them. I, you know how you take a piece of cheese and you kind of tear it up if it's in the slice, I put it on there. And then I toasted up my um, bread. I sprayed it with, I can't believe it's not butter spray, just for a little, little uh, flavor there. And then I had a category four plus two plus condiment. But here's some Sarah Lee bread. I like this multigrain bread right here. Okay, it's a fibrous carb, two slices. You never want more than 100 calories worth of bread in a meal. So this one is good there because two of those would be 90. But let's come back and look at something. See that zero right there? Look, zero, 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 zero. Hmm, that's interesting. The Sarah Lee delightful 80 calorie wheat hamburger buns is a negative one. And then this is a Sara Lee lower sodium oven roasted chicken breast. It's a negative three. And then there's some chicken breast. But anyway, let's go back up here and have a look. Do you see how these are all zeros? Basically because bread is still not that great for weight loss, but we don't, we just tell you what will work on the lifestyle. And it does work, but we're going to put a zero on it because if you want to do the absolute best, then it's not the best, okay? But it still will work fine. Don't be scared of doing it. But if you ever are not seeing the results that you want and you find that you're doing bread at a lot of meals, that would be the first thing that I would cut back on. And I've learned to really enjoy an open face sandwich, kind of grill that up and heat it up on the top. And I just eat it with a knife and fork. So if you like bread, it works. You just want to make sure that you're not doing it every meal. And honestly, I would do a, I make a lot of omelets um, and then just forget the bread. I just use a lot of eggs. They are better for you. And, but I would try to do bread stuff before dinner, like at breakfast or at lunch. That's, that's just a tip. You can still do it at dinner. But these, these little things that I'm talking about, these are nuances, things that would help you see results better. And Polly said that she had an egg omelet for dinner tonight. Yes, guess what I had for dinner tonight? I had more eggs. I must have been on an egg day. I had eggs and I had the Jimmy Dean turkey crumbles, which eggs and the Jimmy Dean turkey crumbles were both category four. And I put a, board and, a slice of board and fat-free cheese in it and... That was a four and a condiment, basically, which you can do. Remember, we can eat fours by themselves. So anyway, let's just talk about this bread. I think I added it to the grocery list, but if not, we're going to add it there. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of building my grocery list. But if you're here playing around in the food library, the only way that you can add things to a grocery list is to have created the grocery list first. 
let's see, CC, my Publix today had no fat-free cheese of any kind. Goodness. Oh my goodness. They actually carry quite a bit normally. Um, they carry Borden pretty good and they do carry the Cabot Extra Light. It's going to say 75 on it. It's still a category four, but, and honestly, CC, I do not care for the shredded fat-free cheese. I like the Borden slices. So did you look for slices or did you, well, I guess you said there wasn't any of any kind. Um, but the Borden, look for Borden. It, it, it's got the best flavor to me and it melts really well. All right. So is everybody, y'all give me some thumbs up if you feel comfortable using um, the grocery list and that you understand that you need to create a grocery list first in order to add things to the grocery list. Good. Awesome, Trina. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. I can't tell who's got their hands raised. Jean, I see one of them. Um, it said two hands raised. I couldn't tell. All right. Thank you. Okay. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to add a recipe. Thank you, Cece. Thank you, Michelle. We're going to add a recipe to the grocery list. This is so cool. Each recipe required ingredient can be added to the grocery list with a click of a button. Once the recipe has been opened, click the green add to grocery list button. Okay, so that's slightly different. We're going to click here and we're going to head back over to that recipe library that we were playing in. Do y'all see how those pictures changed? These aren't the same images that were there before. They changed. But let's come down here and I'm just going to randomly scroll and pick something. Let's make some carrot cake. I'm gonna click on carrot cake. This is where you would add to the grocery list. Did you see that in the food library, there was, oops, I'm not gonna roll all the way back down there. Chicken taco cups. Do you see how there's no grocery list here like there was listed in the food library? To get to that, you just click on here and you go right here. So chicken taco cups. Let's see what this says. One pound of chicken cooked and shredded. Oh, by the way, if you have boiled some chicken, a great way to shred chicken is to take your mixer like you would make a cake with, put it down in there. And I just shred chicken just like that. It's so easy. Okay, one tablespoon of chicken, of chili powder, one tablespoon garlic powder, one teaspoon cumin. Okay, we got oregano, salt, pepper, diced green chilies, diced tomatoes, cilantro, tortillas, fat-free shredded cheese, MCT oil, and avocado. Okay, that's a negative two on the weight loss meter. All right, that's good. 187 other people have said they liked it. All right. Let's come down here. So you would, here's the directions. The serving note, it's category one plus two plus condiment. You may have two as a meal or one as a snack. If you're having these as a meal, feel free to add a category two vegetable or side salad with zero calorie dressing as a side dish. As a meal, these are a negative two on the weight loss meter. As a snack, they are zero on the weight loss meter. Remember, snacks aren't that great for weight loss. Therefore, we put it as a zero on the weight loss meter because it depends on how you're using it as to what the weight loss meter is going to be. And then come down here, it says, how many cups should this make? Kim Overmeyer re responded 12 and somebody else said this was delicious. My whole family enjoyed it. So I love reading the comments down below. Let's see. So basically you're using these little Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Tortillas as your as your cup right there. That looks really good. I think I might like to try that. So I'm gonna go ahead and heart it. The reason I'm gonna heart it, even though I don't know if I love it yet or if I like it yet, is because I want it to go into my favorites. Because sometimes when you're looking at recipes, you can't remember what they were called and you forget and then you get frustrated, you can't find it again, okay? So it's got a rating of 3.5. I don't know what that's about, but, um, and then you got 188 people that said they liked it. Now I hearted this. Do you see this right here, right above the green add new recipe? It's going to now be in my favorites right there. My favorites. I click there, it'll be there. But if I want to add all of these items to this, to my grocery list, 
I just click that green button. It's going to pull up my grocery list drop down menu. I'm going to choose Ingles and click add all the ingredients that are needed for that. Boom, just went over into that recipe library, which is awesome. So let's click back here and see how the recipes changed again. I mean, the pictures changed again. Let's see. You know, I bought some hemp powder at the, at the Shibby shop. And I wanna see how I can use that hemp powder. So it didn't bring up anything. So I'm just gonna do hemp. And it's gonna generate that, this, okay, so hemp. So here's all kinds of hemp things. But you know what? I specifically want to make a smoothie. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to, just because I know, I'm going to, I'm going to use smoothie because they'll put some hemp powder in there to give you your, your uh, mix. So if you like smoothies, you can come in here. Look, 286 people have said they liked this one. This is a strawberry peach hemp fruit smoothie. Since I'm really wanting a smoothie and hemp, I'm going to click that one. And we're going to, we're going to talk about hemp later in the week. Actually, not overly talk about it. I'm going to teach you where to find a, um, a video on it. But there's this hemp. I would need Egg Whites International, frozen strawberries, frozen peaches. So if you like, if you like fruit and you want to get some fruit in, this is a good way. You know, a lot of people say I'm having a smoothie and they think they're doing a good thing for themselves and that with what they've added and put in it, they actually have taken it away from being a weight loss meter. Uh, I mean, a, an item that's good for weight loss. So please make sure that you are using recipes from the recipe library. I was talking to somebody recently and she said, oh, I like to take two scoops of this. I also throw in some uh PB2 peanut butter, and then I throw in some fruit, and then I throw in some, some spinach. I went, well, let's not, let's not do all that, because your two scoops of protein powder are honestly enough. There are some ways that you can add some different things, but look up that particular protein drink that you're making and see what it says about it. Y'all use the food library like it is the encyclopedia of Shibola, because it is, okay, let's go in there and let's focus in on that. So then you could have some, there you go, half a scoop of hemp protein powder and two thirds cup strawberry oikos triple zero yogurt. So if you like fruity smoothie things, there you go, just look up stuff in this recipe library. Now you'll notice it's a zero on the weight loss meter, but if that's the only thing you're drinking for, that should be fine. And this is a category one plus two plus five. Let's talk about this. The one is your Egg Whites International. The reason that we are suggesting Egg Whites International is because we really trust that this product is not going to have salmonella poison. It's been triple tested for salmonella. So this, and, and we're drinking this raw in this particular case. So you'd want to make sure that it was um, pasteurized well and triple tested for salmonella. Okay, and then you got your fruit, that's category five. This hemp protein powder is your fiber. It's your fibrous carb. It's your category two. But look, it's also a lean protein, so it's both. And then you've got some more lean protein right there. You can have half, this is very important. You can have half of this recipe as a meal. And if you wanna watch a video on it being made, there you go. You just can watch this little video on it being made. So there's little nuggets all throughout this website. I want to add all of this to my grocery list. I click my grocery list. I choose the list I'm currently building and then I click add. And because I'm going to heart that just because I want to come back and see if I can. Uh, I don't want to have to hunt for it later. All right. Okay, does everybody feel good about that? You see how you just simply play around in the recipe library and you can add all of your, your grocery list there. Now, the last thing on lap four is to check out the grocery list that you created. Each grocery list can be customized before going shopping. 
When a full recipe is added to the grocery list, it adds every item needed. You may already have some of those staples at home. When you look at the grocery list, you can edit the items you don't need to purchase at the store. Notice how each item in the grocery list is listed by category. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Because again, layer after layer after layer of them just reinforcing what these things are for us. Because it how it's no fun to have to constantly look things up. In the beginning, you are going to look things up. But if you come over here and you it just lists green beans and you can't remember what green beans are, you'd have to look it up. That's no fun. So right here, they tell you. I, I just, I really am just, I am just so impressed with this after two years of talking about it and doing it. I'm still excited. If y'all can't tell, I'm excited and excited for you. Um, and I'm doing something wrong. But let's look. So it's listed out category one lean protein, everything that you need. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I probably need all of that. Oh, you know what? I already brought, bought that hemp protein powder at the shibby shop. So I'm going to take that one off. I'm going to hit that little negative button and I'm going to click remove. And it just regenerates and it took that out. Okay, we got avocado. Oh, over here in the spices and seasonings, you know, I, I don't I don't need black pepper. I've got that at home. Uh, let's see, garlic powder, cumin, chili powder. Okay, I don't need salt. I've got that at home. And green beans, Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Tortillas, Allen Cut Green Beans, Sara Lee 45 Calorie, Fit and Active Petite Diced Tomatoes, Chopped Green Chilies, MCT Oil. Okay, I already have MCT oil at home. I bought that from the Shibby shop. I'm gonna take that off. Okay, there's those uh, sausages that I thought, mm, I could have those for breakfast. Peaches, strawberries, and then cilantro and oregano. They're listed out there. Okay, so now my grocery list is all fixed up and I'm ready to go shopping. So what do you do? You print it. If, it, if you have a printer and then you can print this out and then you can just check off the boxes, okay? And you can have that. But you know what I've done before? I have pulled up, let me show you on my phone. So on my phone, I have a folder for Shibboleth. So what I do is I save all of the things I go to on a regular basis as a shortcut on my phone. And then I pulled it all together in a folder and I named the folder Shibboleth. That way, if I want to be in the food library immediately, I click food library. If I want to be in the recipe library immediately, I click recipe library. The only thing, if you do want to do that, the only thing that you don't want to save like that would be your journal. Because if you... Or you just need to know it's always going to take you to the day on which you saved your journal. So I just save it as my profile and then click over to journal. But you could just save it as journal, but you have to know you'd have to click the today word and it would take you to today. That's not a Shibboleth thing. That's the way that iPhones save things. So I'm going on my phone to my grocery list. There it is. That's what, what we just created. Now, this is on the website, not the app, okay? The website has more things. The apps are extremely expensive to maintain. Uh, this is an Apple, but you can do the same thing with an Android. You can, you can pull the things together. Okay, so Ingles. I'm going to click on my Ingles list right there. There's my list. There's my list. I don't even need to print it out. What I like to do sometimes, because I like to see things be marked off my list, is I'll screenshot those sometimes, and then I'll just use the markup feature on my phone and just scratch them out as I purchased them. But if you don't need to do that, if that's not you, you look, look what else you could do. Let's say that you've already put, oh, that Egg Whites International, I probably would take this off of my, um, my Ingles list because that sold at the Shibboleth store, so I'd remove that. And um, But... What, what you could do as you're shopping along, if you pick up the fat-free shredded cheese, you could remove it and it'll take it off your list. So, ooh, that's kind of fun. You can see that be moved off your list whenever you've put it in your buggy. That was cool. I really like that. Okay, so that's a new little fun thing. Does anybody have any questions about anything that we've gone over tonight? Guess what I'm doing right now? 
I'm adding a link to my grocery list. Let me show you how to do this. This is Apple. I've gone to, but on an Android, I'll tell you how to do that in just a second. On an Apple, do y'all see that little button down at the bottom that's the square with the arrow out of it? You click that. When you click that, you scroll up until you see add to home screen. And then it says at the top, see where it says my grocery list, Shibboleth? Cool, I'm gonna click add. So it just added it right there. Now, because I like to put all my stuff in together, I'm gonna edit my home screen and I'm gonna pull it over here into my Shibboleth folder. And so I've got it now in my Shibboleth folder, my grocery lists. On an Android, I believe it's in the top right-hand corner of your screen. There's three little dots or something and you can do add to home screen. But I've seen a lot of Androids that look different. So you might need to look that up on YouTube if you don't know how to add to your home screen. But y'all, add to home screen is wonderful. Anything that you go to on a regular basis, boom, I add it to my home screen. I pull it together in a folder for quick and easy access. So if you find that you are consistently going to a website over and over and over, just add a link to your home screen. It just makes it easier. So did y'all enjoy tonight? Do y'all like that feature or those features? I hope that you do. And if you are on Facebook, please know that all of these features come with a Shibboleth membership. The membership is only $99 for a year. You get all the education that you need. You get the food library, the recipe library, and the restaurant guide, along with tons of other resources that are there to give you structure and help you hold yourself accountable. You know, sometimes we wish that we could come and jump into your life and do this for you because we know that it's so awesome and we know that it can be done. And we really just like, let me just jump in and do this for you real quick. But we can't. We can't. All we can do is engage with you. I try to engage with you around 730, 740-ish every morning and the Shibby Show Monday through Friday. And then every single night of the week at 7.30, we're doing the fast track. It starts over every Sunday and goes through Saturday. You can do this as many times as you need to, because guess what you're doing? You're taking in a lot of information. And when people say they're overwhelmed, all I want you to know is come back over and over and over until the overwhelming is over. You've just got to come back until you get it. All right. There's never get frustrated. Put into play all the pieces and parts that you can. Start getting this in every single day. Start writing down what you're eating. Do your absolute best at those food combinations. Start portion controlling and don't do more than three meals a day. And if you have a moment of weakness where you need something, have a freebie, an extra, or a snack, all right? That's it. Those are the things that you got to do. Make sure that you don't have more than six holidays in a month for the results that you want to get. And once you've been putting this into play for long enough, this becomes the new you. If we are trying to become a new person, both with what we eat and our habits, we've got to do it long enough for it to become the new you. And I'm gonna talk about my lunch today in just a second, I'm gonna read some of these. Um, awesome, Michelle, thank you. You're welcome, Sherry, you're welcome, Deb. Um, thank you, Polly, thank you so much. And Michelle, this month, two for me, uh, yeah, and I learn at every webinar. Michelle, I was just like this. In the beginning, I have watched webinar after webinar after webinar, and then I would put them on in the car and listen as like a podcast. And like these, you kind of have to see. But when Travis is just talking and motivating and just talking food, you can just listen to, to those in the car, okay? And they are awesome. Just put them on. And let me tell you about some things that have gone on with me this week since I've got a few minutes left. I, you're welcome, Jean. So Monday, okay, all last week, Monday through Friday, I had holidays. They were not, they were not, 
They were not hog trough days, okay? But they were still holidays. So a little bit of insulin is still there. You're still dealing with the insulin, okay? And then on Monday, I had a perfect day and everything was good. Then yesterday, I had a perfect day, but I wanted to eat all day long. I thought about food all day. So I had my breakfast and then I thought about food. I think I told y'all that story. And then I had, I didn't eat the lunch at the luncheon because it wasn't approved. But then I dug into that lunch in the car and ate the chicken out of there. And then I came home and I had two bags of protein chips, which made me feel like I was just, you know, eating chips. And I kind of wanted and needed that yesterday. Every single day that you live is going to be just a little bit different. Okay. And you might have days that are harder than others, but you've got to say, I don't care what's going on. This is, uh, this is what I'm doing for me. And I'm going to stay perfect. And I did. So I stayed perfect. And I'm thankful because on, on Monday morning, I weighed 140. This morning, I weighed 137.5 after two days. And that's just me getting off the, you know, that extra weight from those holidays. Okay, so today I had, I already told y'all what I had for breakfast, the eggs and then the Shibola high protein brown bread. I went to this luncheon. Well, it's Carabas. I don't, I don't really like Carabas food. I could have made approved meal because they had broccoli, but it was covered in all kinds of stuff. And they had salad, but it was covered in all kinds of stuff. And they have chicken. I'm just not a fan of their food. They had pasta. Now they did have some desserts I wanted. I'll talk about that in a second. They had dessert that I wanted, but mm -mm. I had an oatmeal protein pie. I had the key lime today. So I had it in my purse and I had unsweet tea and I sweetened it with my stevia and monk fruit liquid sweetener. I sat there and I've been doing this long enough that I was very happy with what I ate. I didn't even, because I don't feel obligated now to eat this food that's at these things, but it takes a minute to get over that, but you will, you just keep doing what you're doing. And like, I, this was a networking event for me. I should, I should say, I'm here to network. I'm not here because of the food. I'm here to network. So there's certain things that you just have to learn to tell yourself. You're going to be coaching yourself all along the way. And then when I got home, what did I have? I got home. I had, um, oh, I had to grab the gold bar for a snack. And then for dinner, I had more eggs and some turkey crumbles and with another slice of board and fat-free cheese. And that's for dinner. And then finishing off this as my water. And I will go on to bed in a little bit and wake up tomorrow morning and see where I am tomorrow. Now, tomorrow morning, uh, I would love to see half a pound gone. But is that going to happen? I don't know. I can't worry about it. Now, I've been doing this long enough to not worry about it. So this is where longevity is your friend. <laughs> longevity is your friend because you get used to all of these things. The little disappointments really aren't there anymore. They are in the beginning. They're not after you've been doing this for a long time. So just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. And if I don't see a scale loss tomorrow, this is what I'm going to tell myself. Doesn't matter. I'm still efficiently burning fat. I am maintaining my success and I should be eating like this anyway. So thank you for joining me. If y'all want to, you can watch Jason and remember, do it from the website. I'm going to show you real quick. If you go right here to this pink online webinars tab, you can register for, where is it? Oh, the virtual assistant has not put them in there. So the virtual assistant hasn't put them in there yet. Um, so just go on over and watch it from Facebook today. But they should put those in there. Bummer. Yeah, what happened to this week? So they've got next week's in there. All right, let's see. Michelle, I've been camping for three weeks and haven't been on a scale since. That's really awesome. Hey, watch this. Look at my profile. See my profile right here? This is 50 pounds and then this is maintenance. But if you look at my last 30 days, look at that. I didn't weigh from there to there because I was just vacationing and other things. So 
Michelle, it'll be exciting for you to get on there and see what it is. You're welcome, Angie. Glad you were here. Bye, everybody.